Good afternoon. Welcome to the Midday Mull for Wednesday the 19th of June. With Robert Murray McShane, we're working our way toward the end of the book of Revelation. To re today we read the 21st chapter, which begins, Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and there was no longer any sea. Now John has taken us through the, this, this vision of uh, this conflict between good and evil and the devil and his, his minions coming out and uh, besieging the, the, the people of God and being conquered. He's thrown out into the, the fire lake. That's the end of him. And now we have a new heaven and a new earth. And as I thought of that, I thought, a new heaven you can sort of understand, but what is wrong with the first heaven <laughs> and a new earth? And it just paints this picture of this, this new space which is perfect. The old space was corrupted by human sinfulness. Our new existence isn't going to have any of that um, evil and wrong as part of it. And we think of the earth that we live in, and already it's a wonderful place. And there's the, 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 the beauty of the sunsets and the, the flowers that we have and the, the aromas and all those wonderful experiences, the mountains and the, the plains, all the animals and the trees. It, it, it's just glorious place and most of the problems on earth are caused by human sinfulness and to say we're going to have a new earth where all of those negative aspects are going to be gone it's going to be made new it's going to be in its perfect state and what a wonderful future to look forward to that we will inhabit a new heaven and a new earth it's not just the heaven it's the earth as well because God when he had created the earth God looked and he saw that it was good um, and we will have a good space to be in. And for me, that, that's, that's wonderful. That's this beautiful picture that he, that he paints. And then you have this, uh, this notion, and there will no longer be any sea. Um, Don Carson made the, <laughs> the point. He said, this, he's not speaking hydrologically. He's not talking about this water in the sea. Because in the ancient world, particularly in the Jewish thinking, the sea was a force of uncertainty, chaos, and threat. And what he's saying is all of those negatives, the, the, the threat, the unpredictability, those, those things that would cause tension and, and, and fear will be gone. There'll be nothing there that, 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 that we'd be worried about, that we'd be concerned, that we'd, we'd think was outside of control or, or running away with things. It would be perfect. And indeed, a few verses later, he says that God will be with them and he will wipe every tear from their eyes. There'll be no more death or mourning or crying or pain for the old order of things has passed away. And as you, I read that, I think, again, <laughs> I don't think it's only those things that are going to be gone, but all the negative aspects of our humanity, all those things which weigh us down, all those burdens which we carry and the frailties which we experience, all of that will be gone. We will be in the presence of God in a perfect existence. And that's something I look forward to. And it's something that we are given as a gift by Jesus. What a wonderful, what, what, what good news is that? We have an eternity in perfect existence because of him for free. Wonderful good news. So hang on to that. Look forward to it. Um, be encouraged to, to, to claim Christ, to, to look to him, to rely on him. And know that in him, our future, this beautiful future, is secured. Be blessed.